really kind of a, a record made with two different bands, kind of. And um, some of it was recorded in Homa with some guys from Homa. Mm -hmm. Alex Bajeron, who was an agent of Oblivion, and a couple other people. Uh, Adam Clement on drums, and a uh, guy from Lafayette on keyboards, Sean Keating. But uh, it's more of a band record. You know, it might seem like it's like an acoustic record because it's my name, but it's really more of a band record than, than, the, than the last Dead Boy and the Elephant Man. How, what is it like uh, working with Matt Sweeney on guitar? Really incredible. He's, uh, he's worked with like Johnny Cash and Bonnie Prince Billy and does a lot of Rick Rubin work. And uh, he's just an incredible guitar player. And uh, we had a real connection about like folk music, but making it heavy. And, you know, uh, so it was really, it was definitely the best recording experience I've ever had. So. I hope it'll continue in this formula that I can play with different people and bring different people in on different songs and and then just translate it live a little bit differently than that, you know. Mm -hmm. I got a question for you. Whose lips are these on the album? Can you get a close up of that? That's a girl from Ohio. A random girl from Ohio? Yeah. Random girl. So, um, are you guys going to still be on the Fat Possum label? Yeah, that's on Fat Possum. Actually, the, the album art and track listing is already up on the site, isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a few songs up and there. And you can probably order it through the site. What, yeah. What has, um, what Fat has Fat Possum. Possum been able to do for you as an independent label? Uh, really a lot. They've gotten us on a lot of shows. They're always trying to get us on a good tour. You know, they, they made it possible for me to find people in New York to collaborate with and really just, you know, they've been very helpful and they're very like hands-on trying to, he's kind of like the Sam Phillips of the modern age, like a real record man, you know, the guy that runs it. Uh, so he's always like thinking, wow, it'd be great if you played with these guys or, or this rhythm section, you know, so they're always throwing stuff out there that's beneficial to the inspiration of creation. Do you think that you're as well received in other parts of the country as Louisiana? Yeah, we have a lot of a lot of good spots, you know, um, Chicago is really good, New York, um, Cleveland, Ohio. It's, you know, there are definitely some places where it's almost as good as, you know, Louisiana for us. Cool. We're real lucky. Well, where do you think you have the largest following around here? Probably around here, but I mean, there are other places that rival it, like Cleveland and New York, and uh, let's see, I know I'm leaving some places out, but uh, they're going to be very mad. Yeah, but they won't see this. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are certain places where it definitely is equal to here. Mm -hmm. Austin, you know, do really well there. Would you say that um, all the bands that you've been in so far and all the musicians you work with, would you say that your current stuff is kind of a collaboration of all that you've learned so far? I think so, because it's kind of heavy, heavier than some of the stuff I've done in the last couple of years, but some of it's more acoustic, you know, it's kind of a mm -hmm. mismatch or whatever. Would you say it's still pretty dark? Definitely, uh, I think so, although I think it has an undercurrent of positivity, you know, but uh, kind of have to lyrics. look into it. How are yeah. the lyrics? Yeah. You I wrote mean, all of them yeah. yourself? Yeah. What are some of the things influencing your music nowadays? Um, probably like really old country music and um, current 93, uh, kind of experimental devil music. Devil um, music? Yeah. Rock on. And, uh, and let's see, uh, like 70s punk rock and glam rock. I mean, Sparks, the band Sparks, really, really into that, kind of obsessed with them right now. Uh, for, for people who don't know about them, they're like a really, really intelligent, hyperactive sounding queen, you know, like, and then they kind of got um, dancey new wave in the 80s but like they haven't put out a bad record and they've they've got like 20 records and they're still like their new record is really good hello young lovers it's called uh 
anybody that thinks they'd be interested should check them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I forgot to ask you before, what's garbage rock? Uh, it's just kind of a uh, trashy, uh, skanky rock and roll kind of, I guess. I don't know. That's what you call your music? Yeah, garbage something rock? like that. Skanky, sneezy rock yeah. and roll? A little bit. I mean, <laughs> a little bit of that, yeah. It's an element. Mm -hmm. Like the Stooges. Would you say there's any Southern Gothic element to definitely. the new stuff? Definitely. I listen to a lot of stuff like that. There's a lot of really good bands coming out right now that are like kind of like this band O oh Death, like Appalachian kind of punk rock. They play all like unamplified instruments mm -hmm. and uh, like fiddle and mandolin, but they do it kind of like in a style of like hyperactive pixies. They opened up for us in uh, New Jersey. It was really good. There's a band called. Uh, those poor bastards from Wisconsin that are like kind of like Marilyn Manson meets like uh, Hank Williams Sr. You know? <laughs> and it really is. It's like. That does sound. There's a lot eerie. of good stuff happening like that. And I definitely feel kindred to those kind of bands. You know, like I have a song on the new record called Demon Tied to a Chair in My Brain. It's like really traditional sounding, but then it like, like kind of explodes into like. Black Sabbath or something, cool. you know. How do you like that band, The Transmission? You actually oh, I, I love them. Yeah, it's a good band from Louisiana. Morning 40 Federation. Yeah. Stuff uh, from around here. I like, um, I like The Amazing Nuns a lot. They're kind of like a weird classic rock meets uh, doo-wop kind of, but like kind of punk. They've got those you know, uh, since keyboards. Um, transmissions? Or, um, the Amazing Nuns? Oh, yeah, yeah, they have some, like, they have some element. prog rock elements in mm -hmm. there that I dig. So, you know, I was kind of really into King Crimson, like, when I did the first Dead Boy. I was trying to do, like, a, a prog rock version of my songs, which I don't know if it translated that well, because they're so barbaric, you know, in their construction. But, you know, we used a lot of synthesizers and stuff like that, so... And uh, I'm into a lot of, I like peaches a lot, I like uh, a lot of like, like dance punk, you know, music, so I'm always... Like electro punk hybrids? Yeah, and yeah, I'm pretty much like, there's really no end to the kind of music I like, you know. to a chair in my brain Demon tied to a chair in my brain